literally dusting this thing off. <laughs> Hello, good morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Been a long time, things are, things are happening. I hope that you are all well and safe and whole during this incredibly difficult time we are living through for so many reasons. I have been doing pretty well. I've been very, very lucky throughout this whole pandemic and I'm really excited to get back into booktube. So I'm back. I'm back in a booktube. I took a year off from making posting videos. I'm still not back on Twitter yet. I don't know if I will be. Maybe. Um, we're taking it a step at a time. But I did want to chat through some things that I learned about myself and reading and books and booktube while I was offline basically for a year as far as book content is going. And I also turned 27 in August and I did put a little list together of 27 things that I learned in 27 years that I want to share and maybe help people, especially if they are struggling right now. The first thing that I realized that I wanted to kind of address with myself or understand is that I still like to read. I still love reading. There were times when I was reading and pushing myself to read for the hype and for what would get the most attention. So I was a little worried that once I stopped making videos and making content around books that I just would stop reading, but that's not the case. I still love to read. I've been reading the past year. Um, probably some of the best books that I've picked up in a long time because I haven't been focused on the hype train and all of that stuff. Yeah, I still do like to read and I am very excited to come back and talk about what I've been reading and what I plan to read and I'm very excited about this whole return. I know it seems so dramatic. You know, I just kind of disappeared. I didn't like say I'm quitting booktube and it's not like the grand return of someone with a million subscribers, you know, but I did want to make a video addressing it and talking about some things that I'm passionate about. The second thing I realized was that I was too worried about the numbers and I think it's hard not to get wrapped up in the numbers when you are seeing them every day, you're seeing how your video performs. Numbers obviously will dictate if you can make money through booktube and arcs and all of that stuff. It's really hard not to think about the numbers but I was becoming so wrapped up in the view minutes and the algorithm and the view times and all of that stuff that it just wasn't enjoyable for me anymore. So my plan is to just check in with myself every couple of months to make sure I'm not kind of going down that road anymore and just honestly, like I know this sounds really cliche, but just make the content that I wanna make the best that I can make it regardless of anything else. That leads me to my next sort of realization is that this channel was a huge creative outlet for me, a huge creative outlet, and I need that back. There has been nothing that I've tried that has really fulfilled me in a creative way thus far as much as this channel has. I did try to pick up the ukulele. I'm still pretty bad at it. I'm still working on it. So I was trying some different things as far as creative outlet goes, but I need this. I need this creative outlet. So I'm coming back. Number three is I miss the community. I definitely went through pockets of time where I felt like I wasn't really a part of the community. I felt kind of nebulous, like I didn't really have a lot of friends and that, you know, I just wasn't involved in the community, but I do miss it and I was involved in the community and I miss it a lot. I've been here, I've been watching videos, definitely not as much as I was when I was on booktube and actively posting so i definitely want to get back into it and find more new people and just enjoy my time with this community so i'm back i'm ready to make content let's get into some advice some things i've learned in my 27 years on this planet jumping into it black lives matter Black lives matter. Black lives 
matter. Obviously, I don't just want to say Black Lives Matter, period, and have that be the end of it. So I am going to link some resources, some petitions, some things I've been using to educate myself on anti-racism and on Black history and Black Lives Matter movement. So I would please, please go down and check those out. I will also link some interesting and informative and incredible videos from Black booktubers about their experience being Black on booktube. I would definitely recommend that you watch those. I am embarrassed that it took me this long to really realize the severity of some things that are happening in this country and I have realized that. I am doing the work. Do not praise me for that. I'm not looking for praise. I just want to make you guys aware of some resources that I have seen that I have helped me understand more about what's going on. Self-care isn't just face masks and bubble baths. Sometimes self-care is a grueling 45 minute run. Sometimes self-care is eating spinach. Sometimes self-care is reaching out to that friend that you haven't talked to in so long. It's not just all fun, aesthetic, candle, face mask, bubble bath. Composting isn't hard and it works. This year my boyfriend and I started composting more seriously because we have a yard to do it in and it's easy. If you guys are interested, composting is really, really easy and we actually started our garden with the stuff that we had been composting for the year. So I'll link some resources down below on easy ways to compost. We just do it in a plastic bin outside and ferry stuff out every day that we've been using and we've cut down our trash between the two of us. Between the two of us, we have probably one or two trash bags every week, period. That's it, that's all the trash we go through. And I'm sure there are ways we could get that down more. That's not obviously great to still have two thing, two trash bags going into the landfill, but we're doing our part. You can be a cat person and a dog person. <laughs> This one is kind of a cliche, but it's so true. As long as you aren't hurting yourself or anybody else, do what you want. Do what you want. Tell somebody if they have something stuck in their teeth. There is such a thing as too much coffee. I never thought this. I worked at a coffee house in high school and I grew up watching Gilmore Girls and both my parents drank coffee and I love coffee. I love it, but you can drink too much coffee. It will make your heart race and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> Honesty without tact is cruelty. Call your grandparents. If you are fortunate enough to still have grandparents in your life, call them. They love to hear from you. Just call them, just give them a call. You can change your opinion when given new information. Mind blowing. Align yourself with a purpose not an organization and you will feel more fulfilled in life. Apologize when something is bothering you. People aren't paying as much attention as they think you are. People are often paying more attention to what they're doing and what they look like and what's going on in their lives than you. Vegetables dipped in ranch are better than no vegetables at all. Even if you're exhausted, wash off all your makeup before you go to bed. You have more time in the day than you think you do. There's so many things that you can accomplish in 12 hours or more than 12, probably more than 12 hours. This is another cliche, but it's so, so, so true. Never go to bed angry, especially if you have a significant other or partner. Don't go to bed still angry with them. Try and work through whatever it is you need to work through before you go to sleep. Things will just fester overnight and then they won't get any better in the morning. Sleep on impulse purchases. This helps so much, I promise you. Go to sleep, if you wake up and you're still thinking about that thing you wanted, go for it. But a lot of the times you'll wake up and be like, huh, do I need this? Write and send thank you notes. You don't have to attend every argument that you're invited to. The earth is incredible and we need to protect it. We do, it's an amazing place and we need to protect it. Your taste in foods will change, so periodically try 
things again, even if you don't like them, even if you didn't like them when you were younger. Text back no matter how long it's been. If you go two weeks without texting that person back, just say, sorry, and answer. It's way better than just leaving it out in the air for to fizzle. It's tough, it's hard to do that, but that's what I would recommend. When you have to spray bug spray, walk away from the group, then spray it. You are not gonna be everyone's favorite person. You just are, it's not possible. And this last one is something that I'm still really working on um, and I try to do it every day, but it's basically don't wait. Don't wait until you lose weight to do something. Don't wait until you're perfect to enjoy life. Go out and do things. You are deserving of a good life and good experiences regardless of how you look, regardless of what you weigh. Don't wait for those experiences. Don't let it hold you back. I'm excited to be back. I'm so excited. Uh, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.